Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, let's start with John Party. Uh, his wife for Christmas would like a now they Highland. They just got married. Isn't that they, true? They just got married. All right. They pushed it off. Uh, yeah, they've been together a little while. They had to push it off a few times. They just got married. She would like a Highland cow. For Christmas, can that's a big old boy, or are they girls? I don't even uh, know. Guy, man, I don't know. I don't know if it's boy, girl. Could it be both? I have no idea. Um, but the Highland cow is a gigantic steer looking cow with like long horns, very fluffy, and a lot of hair candy. There's actually two of them at Rocking Horse Ranch, the place I love. Oh, candy. I wonder why someone would want one. Oh, they're gigantic, and they smell, and they lay around, but I guess they're friendly. Uh, Let me tell you, I was yeah. watching Dr. Pole yesterday. Mm. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable what that man does. Unbelievable what these cows go through. It's all I'm going to say. Unbelievable what his uh, forearm goes through, Candy. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Maybe that's why I have a headache. I can't get the images out. Someone get me a plastic bag. This calf's about oh, to be born. Unbelievable. I know. Uh, yeah, so, he is something. Well, Sorry, Dula. <laughs> no, he is, he is something. Uh, but yes, but John Party says if he gets the Highland cow, then he's got. He's been researching. He's got to get a friend for it, like a goat or a donkey or something. And it needs a big pen and a lot of water and all this other stuff. So... Um, the ones at Rocking Horse are called Bonnie and Clyde, and they're wonderful. Cute. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, People Magazine has named Dr. Fauci, Selena Gomez, Regina King, and George Clooney the People of the Year. They'll each get their own magazine cover. Wow. How come so many? And how come Selena Gomez? I don't know. Maybe she's got a good story. I don't know. Uh, but she is one of them. Uh, Entertainment Weekly rated their top shows of 2020. Number one was a show I binge watched, the prequel to Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, Candy. Are you on the pulse of society, my friend, on the uh, pulse. I really am, and I'm only five episodes away from finishing Dexter. Uh, so, Do you think you're going to get an award for that? <laughs> I get... You say it like you're doing it. I know. I, board. I say it like someone is direct depositing money into my bank I account, mean, right? Honestly, I know it's very sad, Candy. Very sad. Oh, um, and then you are ha- winning the bin- binge watcher prize this year. And you know what happens? Without question. After I finish a show like that, whether it be Ozark or Bloodline or Shameless or you name it. After I finish a show, I go through like a five to seven day period of mourning. Because I miss the characters. I know what you mean. I know. You what understand? You mean. I've had that that feeling of mourning when shows have come to an end. Absolutely. And I Love sit on in the my spectrum. I was like, no, please. I, I tried to slow down my watching towards the end because I knew it was going to end. And the same thing with the Queen's Gambit. I was like, oh. yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you sit in your rocker like I do, saying out loud to yourself, "I don't know if I'll ever be able to find a cast like this ever again." I do I that, think, Candy. Why didn't they do more? I don't know that I can. <laughs> am I gonna have to rewatch it now because it was so uh, good? Yeah, I, yeah. I feel you. I feel your thank, pain. Binger. Thank you. We got a lot more to get to here. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. A bunch of the cast has COVID, Candy. Oh, that's not good. The NBA, which just finished their championship, start up again. December 11th is preseason. December 22nd is regular season. And they uh, did a pre-COVID screening. 48 of their players have COVID, Candy. Uh, oh, so boy. We'll see where that goes. John Cena is uh, releasing a book of motivational quotes that he has put on Twitter. So you can get that if you like. All right. Uh, I won't talk about my book idea again. No, please uh, tell me. My head hurts. Please. <laughs> Once was enough. Uh, Pat Patterson, the legend wrestler there, the WWE, uh, passed at the age of 79. Oh, Candy. I'm sorry to hear that. LeBron James signed an extension with the Lakers, two years, $85 million. Nice work if you can get it, right? Lord, yeah. Lord of the Rings stars want to turn J.R.R. Tolkien's home into a literary center. Candy. I think that's a marvelous idea. 
The Masked Singer unmasked three people yesterday. The Jellyfish was Chloe Kim, who's an Olympic snowboarder. The Popcorn was Taylor Dane. And the Seahorse was the biggest pop star yet to be on this show, Tori Kelly. Tell me something. How many yes. more are there? I don't know. I don't want to know. They're eliminating them left and right, and, and there's more. The Walking Dead holiday special a week from this Sunday. And finally, Chris Cornell's daughter made her singing debut in a tribute to Alice in Chains. So, uh, Can I tell you something? My girlfriend, Ellen, is a publicist, mm. and she's working with her, and she's such a great kid. Oh. She's so talented. She's amazing. Her and her mom, really. I'm so glad to hear that. She just oh, that's a great. talented yeah. kid. She's got an interesting podcast, too. Oh, cool. I'll have to check that out. Uh, TV, My Gift, the Carrie Underwood Christmas special, HBO Max tonight, and The Voice Holiday Celebration on NBC. There you have it. Your bo- Oh, and there might be, is there a Thursday night football game? Uh, you know what? It might have been canceled because... I don't one, know. Wasn't there one yesterday yeah, afternoon? One of the teams that played yesterday, I think, was supposed to play Thursday. I don't know. I, I, oh, boy. You, you know what? It's nothing to say. I'm not, with <laughs> I'm not, nothing. <laughs> there may or may not be a football game tonight, okay? Uh, and there you have it. You're bald and the beautiful. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. 50 and sunny today. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.